Hi guys. Today I want to share with you my Christmas decor. Stay tuned. The first thing I'd like to share with you is my mantle. Um, I actually pulled all my Santas that I collected over the years and I used them in my Christmas decor. I tried a new garland. This garland uh, mimics ice crystals, but they're actually beads as you can see. I stuck an ornament right there in. And the ornaments on top of the mantle, or the gift boxes or rather, are ornaments that I did not use on the tree. I decided to put them as decoration on top of the mantle and throughout the house. You'll see that later. I put pictures of past Christmases in my Dollar Tree picture frames. Uh, here is a manger that I've also had years ago. On my coffee table, there is a lantern um, along with a picture of Hubby and I and our older two girls. A picture of Christmas past on my desk. As well as a Santa that I collected. After the tree, the next important thing for me to decorate is my table setting for Christmas dinner. After all, this is where the family would gather. So this is where you pull out your best and I have pulled out my Christmas dishes. I have them in gold chargers. Um, my favorite serving dish, which actually you can put candles underneath or burners to keep the food warm. My favorite tablecloth, which is definitely too small for this table, but after 15 years, I just can't part with it. I love it. And I pulled out every Christmas dish I had with this set because we're going to need it all. We're going to need the bowls for gumbo, the cups for coffee and tea, we're going to need butter for the rolls. And I just stuck with traditional Christmas colors. Um, you see the gifts on the table, which is ornaments that I, you know, told you that I used throughout the house as Christmas decor. And we are ready. The only things missing is the silverware, the food, and my family. And the entryway to my kitchen, I just basically have bow and garland. And for the breakfast table, I have a old Christmas tablecloth along with some Christmas dishes that I blended with dishes I already have. I also uh, have one of my favorite serving dishes on there as well and a Santa that I did collect too over the years. Coffee and creamer. Um, and this is a candle that I got from the Dollar Tree and I just use this decor on the table. And another candle that's shaped like a cupcake. This tree I have been having for about 15 years. I'm, it's very hard to put this tree in the house because it's such a small tree. But it's a beautiful tree. But I found the perfect place for it right in the breakfast area. And underneath it is nothing but a pair of socks for my granddaughter. In the kitchen, I have a sign up to let us know how many days till Christmas. And I have a plaque that says Peace on Earth. I purchased that from Big Lots. On the oven, I have mitts that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. And it has snowmen on it. And snowmen seem to be a pretty common thing in the house this year. That's another magnet I purchased from the Dollar Tree. And that was purchased last year. And my Christmas canisters along with another plaque. Have yourself a Merry Christmas. A Merry Little Christmas. <laughs> Again, I have snowmen. They are candle holders. And a boot in the window, which is a mug. And last but not least, a candle holder that uh, I purchased from the Dollar Tree.
His eyes used to move, guys, but Hubby has to fix so His eyes actually move. Some decor stayed in the box this year, while other things came new on the scene, and that is my snowman. Uh, this is my new item I purchased this year, and it is a beautiful snowman. Um, I, he is, his nose looks like a carrot. He has a black hat with holly. Um, he's full of lights. He looks very festive. And he goes perfect with my welcome mat. And this is my door. And this is my shower curtain in the bathroom. I have a shower curtain that has Christmas flowers which are poncettias on it. And I do have this little rubber ducky that I got from the Dollar Tree. It's a rubber ducky Santa. I put other trinkets in the bathroom without trying to do overkill because it is a bathroom. Um, I have this soap here and I just made sure I had Christmas decor in the bathroom. Um, this soap here helps to fragrant the bathroom even in the package. It smells wonderful and has Christmas packaging. And my oil burner which also fragrance the bathroom all day. Now guys, I want to share with you my Christmas tree. This year, it was no rhyme or reason on how I did my tree. I just pulled out my favorite ornaments. I mean, ornaments that I love, and I just filled the tree up with those ornaments. And um, here I'm showing you some of my favorite ones. Of course, you know, I've always talked about these ornaments there. With my girls, I had an all-girls tree with nothing but girly stuff on it. And But this ornament is new, it's glass, it is heavy, and it's beautiful. Um, here's another old ornament that I have, which I love. And it's also glass. And it's a Santa. Um, another beautiful ornament that I was, you know, one of my favorites. So, um, this icicle here. Um, a pink icicle it went on my girls tree that I did one year but I just basically pulled out the ornaments that I love the most and I just filled the tree up with it and some things I did fill in the tree um, and you know it's, it, it, it all came together even though they were all different colors all different kinds of ornaments I feel that the tree did come together. Mr. and Mrs. Claus is what started Hubby and I tradition of purchasing a Christmas item every year. So I feel that everything came together, but the most decorative ornament of home is your spirit of love, peace, and happiness. And I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.